place and place. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Let's stop there and move it up slightly as you zoom. Don't wobble it. There you go. Zoom. Zoom. Of course, I've got my whole commentary going on here, I realise. We can always take that off. Okay. Stop there. A bit longer. Great. Can you get down there? Maybe um, crouch down as well. If stop it and then crouch. Got it? Have you taken it yet? I am right now. I just I was zooming in. Mm. How about the toes as well? They're very evocative somehow. I mean, if you come on. Okay. Um, uh, we are we are all in uh, space 158, in the northern uh, part of it, on the latest floor. And before we begin removing the latest floor, uh, we want to record all the the, the, the situation in this area. Uh, here we are dealing with feature 629, which is the bins. So, uh, feature 629 is the bins that were located originally in the uh, west-north corner of this space, and they are lying on the uh, latest floor in this area. The latest floor is this floor that goes under them and then goes all the way towards the south. This is the top floor. This is the last floor that was built in this space. And we see some other remains of the bins that were sitting on top of that floor on the northern floor. On the northern, on the, sorry, that, take that away, on the west wall of feature uh, 622. Okay, stop. In addition to uh, feature 629 in this area, uh, we have the pillar for the screen wall. Uh, that was also built on on top of the latest floor. So the latest floor was going, actually, no, take that away. Can we start okay. everything that I had? Um, in this space, we are in looking at the uh, several uh, floor levels and starting from the uh, latest floor level, uh, level, which is here on top, and the majority of the floor that we see at the moment in this space is uh, the latest floor level. Uh, so this is the top uh, floor, which went all the way to the to feature 622, which is the west wall, this part of the west wall, and went probably up slightly. Uh, on the other side, on the east side, this is its continuation and it went all the way up this uh, internal wall, wall or the pillar, like that. On top of the latest floor, what we have is the series of bin-like features, most likely bins, which are not preserved um, uh, completely, but just their bottoms are well preserved, and they were sitting in the northwest corner of this space on top of the latest floor. Top of the bins lying on the latest floor are here. This is their extension and we have their remains in this corner. We don't know whether they went all the way to the internal wall, most likely they have, but we don't have them preserved in that corner. 
And we have other evidences of the bins also on on the face of the west wall of feature 622, which is here, these elements and these remains here belong to the bins as well. So we can imagine that they went at least on this side of the space, on the west side of the space. Uh, then when we turn towards the east and look at the internal wall between spaces 158 and 86, we can see that uh, the f latest floor that I have been talking about extended all the way to this feature, to the internal wall, and most likely went slightly up this way, uh, turned into plaster, wall plaster, but we don't have those remains preserved. These are the indications that, or rather the evidences, that in this part of space 80, 158, we uh, had a very, we had the space used in the uh, very latest stage uh, of life in this house. Oh, and we think this happened after uh, the two collapses of the west wall uh, of the building three and after they, uh, the wall was shored up and the central part of space 158 actually ceased being used. This northern end still was in use and was in use as a storage area for the bins. Um, under the latest floor, actually in the latest floor, we can see the cut, a big cut here in the central area. Uh, we are not uh, entirely sure if this is a cut or if this is just a heavily damaged floor because of heavy walking on it or heavy use of this part of the floor. Uh, it could there are some um, possibilities that this is a burial, even though the cut is not so even, so nice as we have in other cases, and that makes it less likely that this is the burial. But there is that possibility. So on the latest floor, under the latest floor, we have series of earlier floors. One of them is this one, and then under under it we will have this floor which, which we can see on the uh, west side of this space and uh, under all of these floors what most likely we have and here is the indication of it is the original internal wall of this house which was built of red bricks and had plaster this white line is indication of the plaster and we have the same type of bricks uh, made of the same clay used for the original west wall, which is feature 635, and that we have just recently discovered. Now, uh, I have to say that this could be either the original wall of the house, uh, feature 635, a as well as this internal uh, uh, wall, or it could be actually the remains of the previous house in this place, on top of which we have our building three built. We can Okay, uh, Laurie and Bashak here have done sterling work today. Uh, finally, doing, uh, finishing the cleaning of this guy. And now uh, Bashak, and uh, they're both drawing. In fact, Bashak's doing the drawing, actually. And it looks lovely so far. Thank you. <laughs> and um, so she's drawing it. We also took a, a photo for um, making a digital drawing to just compare the two techniques. And we also photo, uh, did a detailed photography and video of this um, burial that is uh, 631 in platform 170. Over here in um, the northwest part of space 86, um, feature 634, that we assume is another burial, and that's what it looks as though it's turning out to be. Um, Laurie started excavating here the lid in various floors, floor levels, and you can see it 
In the section there is the, um, she's actually on the packing now, but there's like a plaster lid in the profile there. And it uh, looks as though it was originally cut by the burial 617, but there's, um, right now we can see there's a, a lid, a uh, kind of, um, on the west side there is a tiny uh, barrier between 617 and 634. And unfortunately 634 is, after all, going under the bulk. Not what we thought yesterday, but so it goes. On the east side, on platform 170, we've been cleaning off uh, floors 5 and packing underneath down to what we see here, which is the top of floor 6. And um, looks really nice here. They've, uh, we've, I've, we've started, Michael Binder and um, Tonya have started, or basically finished, down to floor 6 on the southern side, and I've started in the northwest corner of, um, at floor 6 there on the north of the bulk. And uh, what we can see here in the middle of this, the southern side of platform 170, I'm pretty sure is another, another burial pit. Mira, of course, is skeptical. Well, that's what she wants. <laughs> and Laurie has seen another something in the southwest corner there, which she thinks might be possibly another one, but who knows? I'm skeptical of that one, but I'm pretty confident of this one right through the middle, across the bulk, and probably into, um, into the northern half, a bit of the northern half as well. That's a pretty big burial pit, would be a pretty big burial pit, might be a double one. And uh, so, and it's on floor six, which actually is still one floor above the, the um, big change. It's actually um, probably the first floor after the new configuration of the platforms, which is in fact what we see, this burial over here is the contemporary with the first floor, I think I said, after the new configuration. So that'll be interesting to look at. Is it actually, is that really so? When we begin to do the Harris matrix. The north, uh, south, east corner, I'm not sure what Anna was doing all day here. Um, some cleaning, scraping, I'll uh, maybe have to ask her. Kind of, um, it's been going rather slowly here in the southeast corner, but it's uh, looking much cleaner and clearer than it was before. In the south central area, that is the kitchen, um, Book has been taking more of the superstructure away and has also removed the white plaster, which was at the very southern end of this feature. This is now um, feature 613. The, um, and they have, we took photographs today in order to digitize the, um, digitize the, we did this yesterday, I think we did. So this is for a digital drawing of feature 613. We, we took digital um, photographs with those points that you can see there. Um, so this, it turned out that there's an, uh, we can see the floor very clearly on which, uh, from which the fire installation has been dug. In the uh, Space 158, the southern corner, Heidi took off um, the fourth slice from the niche and we took more digital, digitizing photo, uh, photos here, actually two layers of, uh, no, one layer of it. And in the northern section of um, Space 158 here, um, Mira uh, did a discussion of this whole area, um, discussing the, the uh, different sequence of walls, of the internal walls, and also in relation to the floor and um, possible bins. Having realized that we don't have any drawing of the face, the uh, face of the screen wall, we're going to do that um, preliminarily to taking down 
um, the upper part of the screen wall, which will be quite dramatic. As I said to Mira, it's like cutting your hair off.